All right, we're here with uh, Shannon Rioli from St Mary's. Thanks, mate, for giving up a bit of your time today. Uh, obviously, big clash this weekend for you guys, taking on Nightcliff tomorrow night over at TIO. Yeah, Friday night footy is pretty good to have yeah, one and two playing for it, and not long before the final start. So I think pretty much whoever wins this game will probably hang on the top spot. Yeah, certainly fairly crucial. You guys sit a game behind at the moment with a bit of a uh, for and against boost on them. So as you say, fairly crucial. You win this one, you sit in front of them with two to go. If you lose this one, obviously two games behind with two to go, it's pretty unlikely that you'll uh, claim that uh, week off in round week one of the finals. Yeah, well, they're, they're playing some pretty good footy and they, they deserve to be number one. And we've played some good footy. We had a couple of early losses where we didn't have sort of the numbers we have today in our lineup. But um, yeah, whoever wins this game, we get to take a lot of confidence heading into finals and probably a one week rest when finals come along. Yeah, it's certainly crucial. As we are talking about before, the heat up here, always an extra week coming into those finals, never hurts. As you're saying, a little bit of an ageing list with you guys. Um, but a couple of good ins with yourself, Raf coming in. Yeah, oh, we've got a pretty experienced lineup, and you know that that's probably what's helped us throughout the year, you know, having that experience to get us through tough games when we haven't had our full list of players to choose from. And uh, yeah, the tougher game of the footy up here in the conditions, yeah, it'd certainly help having a week off when finals come along and watching everyone else belt each other. Yeah, definitely. Uh, so what do you see as the keys to this week's game? Obviously, they've been pretty strong through the midfield all year and winning big as have you. Yeah, I think last time we played them, we, we got on top of the midfield and our forwards are pretty dangerous. We've got Coops, Kintari, McFarlane and those kind of guys running around the yeah. forward line. So if we can win that midfield battle, they've obviously got a really strong midfield and we, we'd like to back our guys head to head. So that's probably where it's going to be won. And our back line's been pretty reliable all year. but. They've got, I think they've got the best uh, against score as well in the comp, so their defence has done really well. So I guess the middle of where it will come down to. Yeah, that's exactly right. If you can get that ball out of the middle and deliver, it's obviously going to be a long way towards winning the game. Um, so yeah, certainly plenty of people should take the opportunity to get down to TIO tomorrow night. It's going to be a cracker of a game. Yeah, Friday night footy and yeah, normally I think you probably get a bit of interest in a Friday night footy game, especially up here, you know, you finish your weekend off, finish your week off, come down, watch a pretty good game of footy, two good sides, yeah, good local players. So I think, yeah, definitely get down there and enjoy it. Yeah, definitely. Just on to the other games quickly for the weekend. Uh, first up, two o'clock on uh, Saturday is in a triple header. We've got uh, Buffs playing Wanderers there, mate. How do you see that one playing out? Wanderers playing pretty well, sitting third at the moment. Yeah, you, you, Wanderers are always pretty strong after Christmas, so you'd see them getting over the line in that one. Yeah, lovely. Yeah, the second game up, Tiwi playing a little bit later times than they normally would. Uh, they're coming up yeah. against Palmy. Uh, how do you see that one? I think Tiwi for, might be a shot for their first win of the year if uh, it's as good a chance they're going to have. Yeah, well, they've got a good line-up and I think they've sort of been close the last few weeks. Obviously, they got a bit of a touch-up from Nightcliff, but they played really well against us and first game back and I reckon they're, they're due for a win. Yeah. yeah, they've certainly been playing good in some patches. Stringing together four quarters has probably been their hardest. I mean, they, when they've got stars like Austin and Ross out there, um, if both of them are on the paddy, it certainly makes a big difference for them. Yeah, I think that's the case. They've got they've got a couple of good leaders there in Ross and Aussie, but I think it's the younger guys. When they're up and about, and, you know, their, their tails are up, they're pretty hard to stop. So if they can get a good start and carry that on, I reckon they'll be all right. Yeah, and the final game uh, sees the two sides sitting fourth and fifth. Uh, pretty crucial for both sides uh, in uh, Waratahs and Districts playing it in the 7.30 game. Yeah, it's a pretty, pretty tough game to call. Um, I think uh, Tars might want to bounce back from, uh, from their loss last week against Wanderers on Foundation Day, so I reckon I'll tip them. Yeah, I think Tars maybe just with the advantage of a couple more days rest, as we talked about before, the heat up here with uh, short turnarounds and those can be a bit of a killer, so the couple of days rest having played in Australia Day might uh, help them. Yeah, for sure. No worries all. Well, good luck on Friday night, mate. Thanks again for your time, and uh, hopefully we'll see you deep into the finals. Yeah, cheers.